Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a very very happy news to Indian Overseas Bank investors because it is a penny ridden stock nowadays but a good news has been come. 4360 crores today was contributed by central government to Indian Overseas Bank through the equity shares, speculative or special securities are bond due to the financial year 1920 as government investment. So, for the, this year, government has given 4360 crores as a capital to Indian Overseas Bank. As you know, Indian Overseas Bank is a very very cheap stock and it has become a cheap stock because of giving bank lo bad loans to various customers who are on a repaid that amount. So that was the main concern regarding uh, Indian Overseas Bank. With these news, we may expect a bounce back in Indian Overseas Bank up to the level of 11.4 or 11.2, uh, 20 to 12 rupees maximum that can we can see in uh, Indian Overseas Bank. So moving on, uh, like this, many PSUs banks, PSU means government undertaking banks with majority of government stake, can see a huge inflow of capital in case. Last day we saw Bank of Maharashtra's uh, infusion of capital, United Bank infusion of capital and both of these companies now have started gaining profit after a long period of losses. So we expect Indian Overseas Bank to also give profit in their financial statements so that the share price could grow even higher and get to the levels it was in back. It was seen a drastic fall in this past few years because of uh, continuous losses. The losses was due to higher provisioning norms given by RBI and you must know this important point guys, RBI is going to have a meeting soon guys regarding this NPA norms. If this NPA norms are loosened, provisions will require less. If provision required less, then losses in the provision set aside will be less and more profit will be earned. If you like this news, then go and subscribe my channel, guys. Please subscribe my channel and like this video and share this video to your friends if you want, guys. Thank you so much for peacefully listening.